Habibi, Habibi. Hi guys, welcome back. This is Sinta's content. And in case you're new to this channel, I'm Sinta and welcome back. So, am I welcoming you all? I'm welcoming you back, all right, guys. Welcome and please make sure that you subscribe. Subscribe and after you subscribe, hit on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you will get notified. And if you're my returning subscriber, Asante Sana, yeah, I don't take you for granted. And may God bless you for me. So, Habibi, Habibi. So why am I using Habibi today? Habibi, you Habibi is a name of a lover. Yes, this is used by lovers in quotes like a girl can call a boy my Habibi, my Habibi. So, and you realize that this Habibi can also be used in Swahili and also in Arabic. What am I saying today? I want to tell you why or how Arabic and Swahili they share some uh, vocabulary. In fact, uh, historically is written that 40% of Swahili comes from Arabic. How was it spread in 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 East African countries? East African countries like Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi. I think these are those are East African countries, guys. And this is where Swahili language is spoken. Yes, that's our mother language. Kiswahili, Sani, Ruga ya Taifa. Yes, Ruga ya Taifa. So, guys, uh, it was spread. Arabic was spread in East African coast by slave Arab slaves through trade. And I realized that it's not about trading. They also spread the religion, that is Islamic religion. And you find that in Kenya, the highest population of coast people are Muslims. Apart from uh, trading, they also spread the religion that is Islamic. So that's how uh, Swahili got some Arabic words. In fact, 40% of Swahili vocabulary comes from Arabic. That's how it is written historically. So guys, that's how you see that some of the... If you're living in... Gulf or if you're working at Gulf countries, you come to realize that Swahili have got similar words that of Arabic. Yes, that's how it was. And that's how it was uh, spread in East Africa. So guys, the next video, I will be telling you exactly the, the words that mean the same as Arabic. I mean, Swahili and Arabic, the similarities of words between uh, Swahili and Arabic, the similarities. So make sure that you subscribe so that you may not miss out. You have to learn this. It's very important. It is very important. So guys, I love you so much and make sure that you subscribe. Please subscribe to this channel and I love you until next video. Bye-bye.